Hi, Libra. <laughs> okay, you get the same giggle as Pisces in the beginning. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Um, <laughs> welcome to the space, if you're new here. Uh, welcome back if you're returning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm going to get big shiny balls for it soon. <laughs> Reflect the light even more. Um, so Leo, uh, Leo is also connected to you. I feel like Leo, Libra, th these are all... There's no difference between these right now. I guess this could be really positive, uh, happy, creative thinking and connecting. Um, really loving love, love that's in, that's put into things creatively, that, that's dedicated, you know. Um, also see, there was this uh, sentence that came in your prayer, which is, Focus on the future, leave the past behind. Okay? Focus on the future, leave the past behind. So the heart is showing itself right now. It's it's a uh, it's kind of like a little bit in a vulnerable place. Um But it's also kind of confident there. I guess a person's probably been practicing then. That's good. That helps, right? It's always less wobbly when we practice. Um, because you realize that you're not the only one that feels that way, however that is. Um, whatever your expression of emotion or how you feel. Uh, there's a line. It's going down to, let's see, okay, where you've been, oh, good. <laughs> yes. Right, it almost seemed like that was a mistake there. It, like, did a flip -a but that's exactly what it needed to do. <clears throat> All right. Let's look at this in the upright just for a second. It's kind of an intense card. Oh yeah, putting all leaving leaving all leaving all that drama. Nope. No, thank you. Oh, you've hurt your left have you hurt your left foot before or like ankle? The left side. When have you hurt that? Let's see. Oh, I knew this was going to get deep. I was trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it. Was, there was an intention to keep it lighthearted and um, <clears throat> have humor in it. And, and there is and there can be. But there, there's. I knew there was. A, there's always a seriousness to the readings. Especially when this deck is chosen at this time of the day. Right. Let's see what's on your other shoulder. Your left, your left side. Of your, when have you hurt the left side of your body? There could be scratches, scrapes, little scars, broken things where there was a boil or like something. There's, it's the left side. That side of your body needs attention. What is this saying in, in, a gen, in a wider sense? This is expressing... Where you give too much. Okay? Let's see the other side. What's the other hand doing? Oh, there we go. Solid. Look at this king of wands. Look at that. Look at that awesome, awesome hat, too. It's like a punk rock cowboy hat. <laughs> I like that. He ain't afraid of no ghost. Who said that? Taurus? 
Good. He's looking right into the heart. Good. This it's your hand on your heart. It's your right hand on your on your heart. I pledge allegiance to love. <laughs> you know what I mean? I pledge allegiance to love. I pledge allegiance to life, right? Like you're a part of it. You you participate in it. <clears throat> Let's see your other foot. Oh man, we didn't go to your head. That was the last place. Death, no wonder. Trippy, I have to see who this is. It's um, just a second. So this leans more into Libra energy. Let's try to take the technicality out of it for a second. The labeling, the the putting it in little boxes, the you know, all all this kind of stuff. What? Shed a coin. Shit. Hold on. <clears throat> that just landed directly on judgment. Who had these cards together? Death judgment and something else another sign had this baby pisces i swear libra leo and pisces are all together they all speak of love take a good lo long hard look at your left Palm. Okay. A good, hard, long look at that. Just stare at it. Maybe you'll see something. Uh, hold on. This it got so trippy. That's hard for me to tap into. I mean, there's this maze in the middle. I guess someone's trying to redo something and to ensure a better outcome. But there's going to be parts of it, some way, somehow, that are not, that are the same part that you thought maybe wasn't supposed to be. And I would say this has been a long journey. Holy. So, whatever sign this is for, for whomever this is helping. As this is the end of the year. And we are completing the cycle annually. Right? Right? Now it is time to focus on the future. 
and leave the past behind. But this is almost like Pitfall, which the reading, uh, there was another reading with Dear Medicine. Uh, It's like you got to make it mountain to mountain without falling in between, right? But you got to back up a lot to be able to swing that far to the other side. So realize that you have power to do something. Oh, actually, look at this. It's not even like pitfall. You just have to like a little video game here it's like you just so you're on this little blue pad right over here you're standing here solid you're like all right got it you're illuminating light you got your eyes on the prize you know where you're going which is back into the, to me this card is speaks of magic like such powerful inner expression right but at at first, I thought you had to jump this whole thing, which is a lot. And I do feel like you got to back up a little bit to get a good to get a good go about it. But you can jump on any of these. You could be like boop, 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 and then land here. Because really, what you're connecting to, I guess, is who you already are. But it's being able to use that in a different kind of way. Definitely a huge change of mind here. You want to be wary about what you're thinking about. Maybe for some of you, how much you give. Or um, where you need to receive, what you need to receive. Um, I would definitely say this is a person that's like a little bit, there's a little bit of off. Um, it's a little off kilter, but I think it's almost like, because again, this was hard, whatever this is, and it could be like a... There's a lot of releasing here. Again, it's like one side's a little bit weaker than the other. But the what's interesting is where it's weak, it's owning that and it's becoming stronger in and of itself. And the strong side, if you will, is is totally looking over there like got it i'm protecting you while while this is weak you are protected it's like giving something a break to be able to complete its cycle or like mend itself or do whatever it needs to do um yeah you have help along the way You've had help along the way, right? Your feet are tired though. You gotta like soak your feet or something. Give your feet some attention. Remember, the, the your feet have, it connects to all the other parts of your body, especially your, your organs, right? You can, because this is what holds the weight of everything, right? Pisces holds the weight of everything. And it's interesting too, this, this card is like throwing all these cups down into this hole. This is your root chakra, just like releasing all this toxic emotion, which is really good. And there's just one left to, to throw down in there, like to fill the, fill it. 
it's almost like dispersing of water like you're putting things within something to make it expand so that you can reach it um Oh, this is also where you emotionally invest too much uh, in, like, one thing sometimes. What does that mean? The hermit. Well, you do have to put, there's like a, a gate or at, during this time, there's a bit of something that's stopping the, uh, some forward progression with something. Although again, it's made aware of, and it's positive over here, but something is sort of stopping something. So something can do something else. Someone can do something else. They have to finish something before they can go. Because maybe what it is is this little kid over here actually has to jump these to land on the King of Wands little blue circle. But when you do, it's like that pushes a button which allows all of this, this mountain to release all this water. Um, it's like instead of a volcano of fire, it's, it's, a vol it's like a volcano of water. Which actually enhances the fire. This is also I'm seeing is really strong Sagittarian energy, which had a very positive reading. Not th this is positive. Also, this is just more complex. This means that you're, adva you're you've advanced to a point to be able to get to this kind of puzzle, right? So, um, know that you are the king or the queen of your king or queendom, right? As above, so below. Like, here's your protection, right? Here's your pheromone. All the stars are in there, right? All the, all the information is in there. You have what you need at this point to be able to do this. And at certain points, let's see. See, now this feels more Leo. Strength card. Yeah, it's like it keeps switching. So I was wondering about this little water child, which I always see as a means of creation. Like, it's a very creative card. Um, I was wondering if they had to climb this mountain to be able to find, you know, there's like a cave or something. Um... Who had that card? Pisces. I'm telling you, Pisces, Libra, Leo. I believe I want relations, relationships. I believe love should be fair. This is also great commitment to what you want to believe in. 19 minutes, Leo. Oh, I see. There's like three stages here. There's, there's one when you were really young. You hit your head too when you were a kid, right? You fell. something to do with the head yeah 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 this triangle oh he has that too again then there was something when you were like um you're like a fresh adult still a young you know not 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 a man not a woman it's like a young lady you know or young young 
young man. It's it's not quite the that stage. There's something there. There's a time back then when you were really strong. Maybe you want to tap into that. Also, when you were a kid, something that you did that was magical that no one fucking believed you when you did it. Maybe somebody else saw it, like one other person. But like, if you went to tell anybody the story, they'd be like, no way. No way. Yeah, Ace of Wands and be like, no, High Priestess is like, no, King of Wands. Yeah, no way. You're, you're bullshitting me. And it's like, no, really. That that happened. Um, Because I guess you'll need that kind of magic and strength, you know, um, it's kind of like those dreams where you're running, you're like starting to get a good run and then all of a sudden you're running at such a pace or you can like jump and sort of go a little bit further than you know a human could, but not on purpose, right? You're just like, Phew. I mean, sometimes this can even, mir miracles can happen, miracle strength can happen even in conscious world, right? I've seen it. So... I see I want you to recognize your own power and whatever this puzzle is, again, you it's it's only because you advanced to this level. Queen of Swords and this wild trippy card. I call it the person who figured out they have so much knowledge. <laughs> they don't it's there there's there's a lot within them. It's like a Solomon sort of um and Bacchus mixed together. Uh There's a great knowing in a person here. That's what happens when two of swords in the Hierophant, a person decides that they are, they are going to try. Is going to have faith that nothing in, that is put in front of them is ever too much for them. And of course, there are emotional days, right? Questioning days, we question what we know or, or what um, we've learned or whether we're ready or not, of course. But as we go along, there's so much more faith, right? In the way that we, because it's how we deal with, with crises when it comes, you know? Or like restriction when it comes, when we can't see, it's like, well, we have to feel, okay. Right? That's part of the fun of it, really. It's like the invisible world, right? It's very creative, actually. Uh, Six of Wands. That was on the bottom of the deck when I started. When we started. And there's the Page of Cups, which is that little artist I was talking about. So you saved somebody's life before. Do you know who that was? Do you remember who that was? Um, so there's a gift given of power, of fire. I'm seeing the Sagittarian energy again. It's like water and fire. Uh, and it comes from physical examples of finding the le the lessons of what you had to go through, like, and what was, I guess, given to you as a present, uh, I, as a means of making you feel more, like, have more presence in and of yourself. I don't know, life is a gift. Could actually receive a really sweet gift during this time. I suppose you could also give one if you like. Uh, if we can try to kick it back into these holy days, which are happening during this time, 
there are holy days throughout the year um but in this season let's see Well, you've already been... All right, now we're, we just got to go back into... It. it goes where it goes. So we're here. We got to tap into it while we have time, right? So someone comes to a new... Knowing. There, there's like information, right? Actually, there's a lot of information. It's like going out and coming to, like coming from you and coming towards you. I also see there's a great amount of um, like a pouring out of feeling that's really joyful too. It has to the foxes here. Um, they were actually part of your prayer too, which is interesting. Um, oh, the circle in the square, my God. That's so awesome. Hold on. If it doesn't make sense now, it'll make sense. It'll make sense soon. There's something strong here with Aquarius now. Um... Aquarius and the Empress. Hmm. So that's knowing love, right? It's knowing you are love. I love the strength card. The cards in this deck are really vibrant. Oh, and we just cut to the Ace of Discs and the Ten of Cups. I'll take that with the Three of Wands again. Focus on the future. Leave the past behind. Ten of Pentacles. Right? Here's the here. Leave the past behind. Ten of Swords. It mirrors right up here on that left shoulder. I would definitely pay attention. Like, stand on, stand on two feet. See which way you lean. If you can't figure it out, stand on one foot. Stand on the other foot. You'll know which one is weaker. Okay? Because what you're trying to find, again, is the center. There's the Empress. The center of it. How are you visualizing your future? Right? Can you see the difference between the light and the darkness here? Here's this. Here. I mean, nothing wrong with the shadow. The shadow is beautiful. It's a beautiful representation of the shadow. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite. Uh, decks of cards uh, but so is this one which is immensely bright there's a lot of yellows in this deck um, a lot which is that chi color you know it's it's um, that inner strength you know I guess we'll leave it like that. Be joyful for the future. 
I see a lot of light. I see a lot of warmth. You just have to cross this, this. That river or that ravine or whatever it is that, that it has rocks though. Like you can find your way easy. And again, it's, it's, there's something that's like, come on, it's, it's, uh, it's like being in the flow of it. So you already know. There's something helping like facilitate it too. But you got to lead with your heart. With the emotion of it. Hmm. This could be repotting for some of you too. That may be necessary. Um, have some new energy, you know. Or take the abundance that you have and, and take pieces off of that and grow new things from that. Do you know what I mean? You know, sometimes we can't take the, you know, say you live somewhere for a long time and you end up with this big bush, you know, it's like all these plants. It's like when you move, you usually don't take all of them. It's like take a piece off of it, grow a little one, start. It's cool. You know, there, I see there's enough to share. Hi, Priestess. Okay, I guess that's that. <laughs> Libra, Leo, um, both about love and relate love, really. Because we're talking to love. This would be Taurus too, right? Being ruled by Venus. And mind you, the only, um, it felt like Libra, it felt like Leo. We, I guess we did have strength, which is Leo. There's also Scorpio was the main energy there beside you, Sagittarius. Okay. I hope this trippy reading was of service. <laughs> Truly. Thank you for your time and um, Merry Christmas again or whatever holidays you celebrate. Happy Solstice and New Year, of course. We'll, we'll talk sooner than that. Um, anyway, thank you. Looking forward to next year. Peace.